Next steps for gradient. What are we going to do now? We've just finished stochastic gradient descent, but surely there's more, and of course there is. The heart of training the network is solving an optimization problem. And there are many ways to do that, but the way that's most commonly used and what we've been studying is the weight updates, the change in the weights is equal to eta times the gradient, which is a vector operator on the cost function C, or if you like L for loss function. Of course, that's uphill. So we put the minus sign downhill. This is a number. It's called the learning rate. Oops. Down here. Learning rate. And it's a hyperparameter. In other words, it's something you're going to tune in your algorithm. If this is a number, then we have a problem here because this is a derivative with respect to omega and the units don't match properly as we saw before. So if you want to do this right in terms of units, what we have to do is make this a unit vector that's going to be in the direction of this uh, omega that we're considering in general. That of course will modify what we choose for eta, the learning rate. So it doesn't hurt us to put this in. When we put that in, it really underscores the fact of what we're doing. And I personally don't like the term learning rate because I think of it in terms of an optimization problem. And the optimization problem says, what direction, what direction do you go in? And once you've determined that direction, how far do you go? Very far or just a little bit? So you have two things to play with. You have how far, how many steps, if you like, and this is the unit vector, that's direction. So you can play with, if you like, a magnitude and direction associated with the change between the old and the new values of the weights. And so we can see many strategies to do this. So later on we'll discuss something called momentum, which adds a piece to this side that involves the previous delta W that we got one step previously, weighted by some constant, which will be another hyperparameter. Also, you can play with the direction of the, of the stepping. So you can play with the amount and the stepping, amount and direction, and so, Current algorithms involve using previous uh, values of the amounts and the directions to get the best trajectory. And that is embodied in the latest algorithm that is heavily used now called Atom. We won't go into details to discuss how Atom works, but at a high level, we're looking at tuning magnitude and direction. This is a unit vector, so which way do you go and how far do you go based on previous knowledge and some estimates of what the surface looks like. And that's what Adam is all about. And when you use uh, some software packages like Keras and TensorFlow, Adam is built in and then you can use it directly with the appropriate hyperparameters.